<clears throat> okay, so we're going to have COVID. So, um, where was I? Yeah, so we're working towards admitting one million visitors into that city every year. 1 million visitors into that city every year. Now, our, our major target is on families, groups, you know. It's a, it's a family place. That's why we don't allow certain things in, in the resort. Like we don't allow smoking. And it's, if you must smoke, you must go to a very far place because we know that children are around we don't allow some naked form of dressing and all of that because we want it to be a decent place that you will be free to leave your children and we know that they're in, in the best of hands so we're attracting families we're attracting companies we're attracting religious bodies we're attracting people from all walks of life and to the glory of god within a year it will just be one year by june June 12th. This is March. So we have March, April, May, June. Four months to go. So it's like eight months that we opened that resort, not the farm. Let me always say that. You know. So um, and to the of God, the, the turnout has been impressive. Today we had over 100 children on, on excursion. We have currently some guests who are there, some flew in from from outside the country and you know they've been just staying in there and call, calling upon their family members from different parts to come and visit them there and all of them coming are like wow really so this type of thing exists in Nigeria and they are so proud of it. And so it's a place that you can you know have peace enjoy yourself security is top-notch at actual resorts very very guaranteed now what am i saying we are working on attracting 1 million visitors every year to this city mm. and this 1 million visitors some are coming for excursions some are coming for their celebrations like now we have from now from next weekend to like the middle of april booked for one event or the other weddings 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 some people want to have their burial you know and they're coming there for a party and they are booking all the rooms all the rooms you know we have um corporate organizations coming and they want like 250 rooms 200 rooms and we only have 50 rooms at the moment you know so um the market is really there honestly 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 if not that we are now in that business i would have thought who goes on holidays to that extent? You know, so boys beyond holidays, there are companies who want to run their retreats, there are spiritual bodies who want to run their retreats, there are friends who want to have a get together, there are families who really, you know, just want to go on holidays. So they, the, the market is really there. I must tell you, I'm mean, very sincere with you. And what we've put together at, at the resort, um, at Texas Life Resort, is not really common like that in Nigeria, it's not the norm in Nigeria. So to the real God is attracting the right set of people that we want and we see a need for more. Now, ordinarily, <clears throat> we could just continue to do our thing the way we've been doing it, you know, you know. But actually, Life is always wrapped around empowerment. Everything we do at Texas Life is always wrapped up around empowerment. And that is why we are giving people the opportunity to be able to own homes right inside the city. So as we are attracting our 1 million visitors, we are continuing with our advertisements, with our campaigns and everything, you know, educating people about the need for, for rest, you know, for relieving the, themselves of stress, of going on holidays and all that. We have different type of holiday packages. We have the one we call wellness holiday. The wellness holiday is basically targeted at the people's health. So they're coming around majorly because of their health. So the food we give them, the routines, the therapies, everything we do is targeted towards their health. And there's a minimum of three to five days. We have that one once every month. We have the holiday jubilato. We just started that this month of March. 
So there's holiday jubilato to celebrate whatever you need to celebrate in a month. And, you know, so you don't need to plan any party by yourself because sexual has got it planned for you. And you're going to be celebrating with every other people, you know, all other people from all walks of life who are also celebrating. So it could be your birthday, it could be your wedding anniversary, it could be you're celebrating a promotion at work, it could be whatever. You know anything it could be your retirement party it could be your graduation it could be whatever so we call that one holiday jubilato we also have the entrepreneurs hangout once in a month that one is for <clears throat> business executives where you know they can come you know have a very peaceful environment free of noise free of pollution where you can think straight you know entrepreneurs have a lot on their heads and you always need a time where you can set yourself apart and just, you know, you know, just unwind, you know, and be able to receive new inspiration to move forward in your business. We have that one also once in a year. We all have the senior citizens holiday as well. Um, that one is majorly targeted at um, um, children. When I say children, young people, you know, we still have their parents alive and you want to just treat your parents specially. You want to just make them enjoy themselves without traveling abroad. So you can actually bring them down. We have that also once in a month where they can come around, you know. So all the people you'll be seeing at that time are just senior citizens, elder, elderly people. So we know the kind of music they like, we know the kind of treatment they like, we know the kind of food they love. And these people are yearning for attention. They love to be listened to. So we are providing all that in, in the package we call the senior citizens holiday once a month as well. Now we have the one for focus, focus and spirituality. So we call that focus holiday, focus on spiritual, spiritual holiday. And that one is for people who really want to set themselves apart, maybe once a month or so. You just want to be in a place free of all the buses and buses of the city and just pray to your God. You need direction for one thing, you need to consecrate yourself, whatever, anything that you need for focus and spirituality. We have that. And then there is still room for every other um, uh, um type of holiday you can think of. Oh, my family, we just want to be away for three days, for one week, or whatever. We still have room for all that, you know? So all these packages are there. We are running them. And we are working towards, like I said, 1 million visitors into that resort every year. To the glory of God, the, the turnout has been amazing since we started. And we can see that there is a need as a matter of fact, there are many jobs, many um, contracts that we've lost. Let me say, use the word lost, because they came, they heard about the city, they came, they saw, they loved it, but they want more. Like we have, like you said, there's this particular company that came and they needed um, to host all their top dealers for a, for a four, five days holiday. And they need to be together at once. And they, they were numbering 250 couples. That's 500 people, 250 couples. So it's not a problem to host 250 couples at a time, but hosting them for three, four, five days is the issue because at the, at the moment, what we have in the accommodation at, um, um, facility is just 50 rooms. Thank God for the apartments that are coming in now. A lot of people are buying their houses now. And that's business for them. And that's why we're here tonight. So, you know, people want to come. There was a particular church also that came that time. They wanted, um, they had 600 people, you know, and um, at least if they can pay. So there will be like 300 rooms, you can imagine. So, there are schools that want to come with like 150 parents if they want to have a parents party, whatever, you know, all those things. So the market is really there. The market is really there. So um, we're opening, we're now giving people the opportunity to also own a house inside this fantastic resort, giving you two very good leverages. Number one, you now have a holiday home. So from whichever part of the world that you are, you can actually 
know that yes, whenever I'm tired from anywhere that I am, I have a place, I have a second home, you know, so you can travel down and just be fine and be, be in another world, another planet entirely, because to be honest, that's what architecture is. You, you will feel like you are not even in this Nigeria at all. It's one city that you will not hear the sound of horn, pim, mm -mm. you know? So until you come back to the gate, you're like, oh, really? I'm still in Nigeria, you know? So everywhere is peaceful, serenity is top notch, you know? So you have the opportunity to own a house inside that city that belongs to you and belongs to you forever. It's your house. Number one. Number two you have a house that is well taken care of by extra large management. You have a house that is being secured by extra large management, you know? So, because we've also been out of the country and we all know what it is like sometimes when you're not around and you have a property somewhere and you cannot even listen with two eyes closed. <laughs> you are trying to know what is happening and all that, you know? So, but with extra large resources, you have a home there, your mind is secured. You know that, ah, oh, my house is, is in safe hands. Because there's a mutual interest at stake here. It's your house, yes, but it's also in the resource. So we are also ensuring that nothing goes wrong with it. Plus it's a business for you as, it's a business for us as well. I like to be very honest. It's a business for you, and it's also a business for us as well, you know. So it's a it's a win win situation for everybody. So you have the house that is yours for life. And secondly, as all these one million people are coming into the city, coming for their different reasons, and they need accommodation because the accommodation we have can never be enough. By the way, our university is starting very very soon, maybe by next or latest in two years. You know, so there is need, there is need, there is need, there is need. We are starting a senior citizen's home, you know, where people can actually come bring their parents and you know that your parents are in good hands, we take care of them. You know, there is, the, I've told you about it, the university, there is um, there is a Disney order kind of amusement park for children coming there by Cosmos. You know, there's a golf course coming up. There's an helipad. We have, we want people to be able to, um, there's an helipad coming, it's not yet there, it's coming. There's an helipad coming, we want people to be able to just fly into the country and from the airport, from the Lagos airport, we just get to a chopper, it just brings you down to, to the city without any stress, you know. So we have all those things in plan and, you know, to the girl about anything we dream about, anything we talk about at Extra Life, God always makes it to come to pass. There are schools coming up there, apart from the university we have, um, because it's a city, all the people working there, everybody that has a home there, you know, and all that. You want a good school for your children, you know, of international standard, we are already working on that. There is a very massive business, um, what do they call it? Shopping mall that is coming there. Too many things. So it's going to be a real city, but we have, so Gregor, we have the land for all these dreams. It's there. The land is there. It's it's been it's been planned from the beginning. So for you that you have a house there, apart from your own personal enjoyment, you want to come, you want to spend your holidays, blah, 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 whatever, it's your house. But when you're not there, what happens? We're not supposed to just love the house. People are coming, they need accommodation. Yes, it's time to give all the property to them. Let me check how many people are here. All right, yes, thank you. So you're, um, you're not around, you authorize us to give out the apartment on your behalf, why not? We give it out, the lodgers can be able to stay there, well taken care of, well monitored by us as well, cleaning, maintenance, everything handled by extra large firms. And the money, the party said into your account. Of course, we're going to remove some maintenance charges, you know, stuff, you know, and all that upkeep, security, lighting, and all the advertisement as well. It's very key. So 
but the money comes into your account. And the type of um, 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 returns you'll be getting on this type of investment, let me put it that way, is way more you know, than having that type of house in a regular place in the city. The kind of um, returns, of course, considering the level of um, investment you are putting into buying the house. So you're making a lot of money. For example, we're giving out the two bedroom apartments for 150,000 per night. For 150,000 per night. And I, and I did a mathematics for somebody one day. I said, if um, we have um, 52 weekends in a year, we have 52 weekends in a year. And if, um, let's assume that if all the 52 weekends is not going to be all busy. I like to be very factual. So <clears throat> let's assume that maybe you have guests, you know, coming to request for your house for only 30 weekends. I even removed the weekdays. Only 30 weekends in a whole year. All right. So, and you have um, the house going for 150,000 per night. So let's imagine they're doing three days, two nights, for example. So that's 300,000 there. All right. So 300,000 there per night. And you have um, 30 weeks, weekends in a year. That's already about nine million naira, excluding weekdays. I'm very, I'm very sure that they're going to be weekdays, excluding weekdays. So that's about ten million naira that you're netting in on rental income on that property, minus the enjoyment you yourself are enjoying by yourself, you know. And you're buying this house for forty million naira, and you're making almost a quarter of it within one year. I think it's something everybody here needs to give a careful consideration into. So that is the topic for discourse tonight. How much is the house? Right now it's selling for 40 million unfurnished. So the furnishing inside, I wish I could really, let me check, maybe I will be able to, um, I want to believe everybody here has seen the video, so I don't think that should be everybody has seen the video. So um okay. So the house is 40 million naira unfurnished. So unfurnished comes with, you know, a good house. Your POP is there. Your bathroom fittings are there. Your tiles are there. Your kitchen cabinets are there, excluding the electronics, you know. Toiletries, fun, um, all those things are there. So, but you are the one to, to be responsible for furnishing the apartments, your set of chairs, your dining, electronics, air conditioners, microwave, fridge, freezer, cooking stuff, washing machine, furniture in the room, the beds, you know, basically, TVs, what again? Anything, any good thing, um, decorations and all that. So uh, we've estimated those ones as 14 million. It, before it was 10 million, but with the rate of, you know, um, inflation in Nigeria right now, it's not really funny. It's not funny, funny, funny at all. So, um, okay, I'm trying to see if I can share screen. Please let me know whether you're seeing the video when I start now. Let me ask you put to mute. So if you are seeing the video, please let me know. Okay, all right. Yes, we are seeing yes, the video. Yes, please. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. 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 So everything minus the furniture, the curtains, yeah, the TV, 
everything goes for 40 million naira. But if you want it with the TV, the the curtains, the chairs, all those wall decorations, the dining, the okay, let's go. Okay, that fireplace. Uh, all those flower pots and decorations. Here is a dark in the air conditioner. Fridge, freezer, microwave, gas cooker, extractor, washing machine. We're going to the room now. Okay, so that's the room. But the bed, the 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 TV and same here. <clears throat> so those are the furnishings. The house itself comes with the tiles. It comes with the all these fittings in the in the bed in the bathroom. All these ones you paid for it. You paid for it. You paid for all this one. Okay. So these are the pictures. These are pictures for you to see what the house looks like. I need somebody to tell me about it. Okay, so I'm going to um, unmute every, um, when, you, when, when it's time to ask questions, I'm going to unmute everybody. So these are just the pictures. These are the pictures of the house. So um, we are we are close to rounding up. Okay, so somebody is asking, yes, this was how it was. Now everything is changing every day, every day, every day, every day, things are changing. So somebody is asking what, what type, okay, so you can see the house is just um, three minutes, five, three, five minutes walk to the major reception of the resort. You can see the resort is here, the, the, the estates are just at the other side on the left here. So, and another good thing is if you have a house at the resort, you have access to every recreational facility in the resort as well. You have, um, you have, uh, access this is the farming area okay so okay so that there is a waterfall over there that mountain you're looking at there these children are on excursion and they are they're trying to play with the camel <laughs> okay so here children came on excursion and we're trying to make them do some things in the kitchen <laughs> and they really loved it even today we had a lot of children and especially this is our restaurant so as a home owner you have access to you know all the facilities in the resort as well so it's one of the advantages of being a home owner in extra large resets. So it comes, um, it's freehold. It comes with, um, it comes with your survey, it comes with a registered survey. It comes with the original receipt of the house. It comes with a contract of sale. You have to pay a little token for that because the lawyers are going to prepare that. And those are the things you will eventually need to process your certificate of occupancy when the time comes. And we will still, we will not leave you to it. We will just, um, you know, because government changes whatever every time. And we do not want to have a joint CFO. We want everybody to have their own CFO. So when the time comes for you to have your own CFO and you're ready, just let us know. We, will. we have um, people who are even extra large members in the Bureau of Lands in Nigeria, especially in Ubu State, because this property is in Ubu State. So we have, um, so we have that, it's uh, people relaxing at the resort. So we have that and you'll be able to, um, you know, process yourself with the documents that we are giving you. Basically, those are the things that you really, really need 
So let me start. Um, let me start allowing you to ask your questions now. Let me start allowing you to ask your questions now. So please, if you have a question, can you raise your hand so we can unmute you and you will ask. This is still another place at the resort. <laughs> this is still another place at the resort. Lots of attractions there. Okay, and this is one of the rooms. So let me start checking the people that have questions. Okay, thank you. All right, let me stop sharing now. If you want more videos, more pictures, whatever, just say it in the WhatsApp, um, on the WhatsApp chat, and we will attend to you. So Buki has a question and her hand is raised. Thank you. You have the floor, man. Good evening. Thank you very much. Um, it's been uh exciting listening to you thank you so uh, much but one quick question please confirm the location again uh why i have heard about ota and somebody said no the resort is in Ibadan. not from this not from this uh meeting so please just confirm that and um you spoke about it Okay, that's fine. 40, 40, 40 drive from Covenant University. Do you have anything uh, in Ibado? Ibado. Yes. No, the, oh. the research is not in Ibado. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Then you talked about the two bedrooms. If you want something in Ibado, mm. you can let me know, but this research is not in Ibado. Okay. Uh, for the, um, you talked about the two bedroom. But it sounded like um, you have other uh, structures, maybe more rooms, three bedroom or four bedrooms. So can you confirm that? And then the 40 million, is that uh, one car fit all? Can it be a one-time payment or it can be uh, instrumentally? Uh, what exactly is the payment structure? Thank you. Thank Thank you, Madam Buki. Wait, which country or which states are you watching from? You from Bauchi ah, today. Please speak Hausa. Speak Hausa. Let me hear you. Sorry, I can't help you with that. So Buki is not <laughs> a I just put myself there right now. <laughs> you know, can you imagine? Please, though, our diaspora, somebody is in Bauji and she's sounding cool and calm like that. She's not been kidnapped. There is no, no, no bomb, no gun, no nothing. Nigeria is peaceful. Don't always listen to everything they tell you on social media or on the news. Yes, we have our challenges, but I tell you, Nigeria is peaceful at least to a good extent, okay? So um, let me quickly answer the, those questions. So the actual art farms and resources in Otaidi Roko Road, towards the Idiroko border, and it gives you another opportunity. So you're coming in from outside the country and you could actually just come in through the Kotonu Airport. And we at Extra Art can come and pick you at Kotonu Airport, yes. So that's another plus. Then when you are even at the resorts, you can also um, resort to the Jiroko border, the border of Nigeria um, with the Republic of Benin. It's about 20 minutes drive from the resort. And from the resort to the city center in Kotonu is another one hour, 10 or 15 minutes. So it's another, you know, people come there and we arrange beach um, we, we arrange a beach, beach tour for them, even from the resort, they can go to another country. Just Some even just go, we just take them to the border just to see how the border area looks like and all that. So um, that's about the location. Then um, you also asked if, um, 
we have other apartments, yes. So um, we are planning to have 400 units of different apartments. We have the two bedroom apartments, which are ready now. Then we have the three bedrooms coming up. We have the five bedroom duplexes coming up. And then we have the seven and 10 bedroom villas. Those ones are just gonna be about 30 or 50. Then the, excuse me, the five bedrooms also about 50. The three bedrooms are just going to be 100. And then we have 200 of the uh, two bedrooms. You can see the two bedrooms are more. Number one is cheaper for anybody to own it. Number two, we discovered actually, to be very honest with you, we discovered that people coming on holidays, they don't really need too much of it. They don't really want too many rooms. Because we had, in fact, as we were building the first set of two bedrooms, we also had the plan of starting the three bedrooms immediately, but from market research and as people are coming and you know we're trying to to hear their feedbacks we discover that they are not really so interested in uh, the three bedrooms so if you are only if you want to own a three bedroom it will be majorly because you love it for yourself you, that's what you want for yourself not really for the business side of it because you may not be earning more than what a two bedroom person will earn that's what we discovered. So there's opportunity to own a three bedroom apartments. There's opportunity to own five bedroom duplexes. There's also a, an opportunity to own the 10 bedroom villas. Yeah, this, we call them villas because they're going to be villas, massive, very big. And that one too, to be honest, we are, we, as we are marketing it now, people are already interested because we're going to build them like a very gigantic house, you know, with inbuilt swimming pool in the sitting room inside the city room you know so it's going to be very something really small not so large at least for a family and enjoy yourself without going out to the public pool area you know so people are really interested in that so i think for now the ones that are really calling a lot of attention are the two bedrooms which are already built now people are in fact people are buying and people want to lodge are also coming. So um, we have that one. And then the villas also, people are interested. We have some people now from, especially the Emirates, that they want to come for stuff in Nigeria. And they just, and in fact, those are the ones pushing us to do the early part. So they just want to come to the airport and then the chopper picks them from the airport and, you know, it lands them straight at the resort. And then uh, golf, uh, golfers, so our golfers, by God's grace, by the time we're able to set up the golf course, you know, we have a lot of people that are so happy that something like that is coming. And then they are telling us about how they're going to be organizing their golf championships and all that. So the big houses, the villas will be for those set of people. They just want to be together in one big, mighty house. And then they can have all their fun, be together, play, bond, you know. So... Um, then talking about the payments, yes. So before now, it could actually spread the payment for up to two years. At a matter of it was 35 million. So you could actually even spread the 35 million for two years, starting with a 10% initial deposit. You know, but because of the level of inflation in Nigeria at the moment, mm -mm -mm -mm. integrities are what you're that sexual and we don't want to put our hands into something and come back telling you stories. So for now, we will not be able to allow anybody to spread the payment for more than four to six months for now. And this is how we even now, you know, so if you can't afford to pay fully within this period of time, I've said, even six months is much because let me tell you, this is March. As of today now, cement is selling for 11,500. But this year we bought for 6,000 this year. This same 2024, we bought for 6,000. We bought for 8,000 at the time. In two days, one time, we just flew from 8,000 to 11,500. The tiles we are using, oh my God, that one, if I don't even want to think about that one. The roofing sheets, everything is not double, triple. So if the house was 35 million before, we we're supposed to be selling like, like 70 million, 100 million now, but we can't. We can't, so we're just, you know, trying to see how we can balance everything together. So if there's anybody that is interested and you don't have all the bulk money at once, then let us talk. We have a way of, you know, making it easy for you. You can start by the land purchase, which is seven million naira. So we can do the land and then gradually, gradually as we're paying it, we are, we are setting it after different, different develop, developmental stages of the house 
that will make it easy for you as well. So, uh, Madam Buki, I hope I've been able to answer your question. Is there anything I've not touched, Madam Buki? Is Madam Buki still in here? Okay, so we have somebody else, Ola Miko Babayemi. The floor is yours, sir, Oma. It's, it's Ma. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, Ma. Thank you for joining us tonight. Good evening, Ma. Thank you for the class. Uh, you, uh, Madam Buki has asked for my question, but the <laughs> second one I wanted to ask is about um, if I get the house, do I have right to renovate anything? Maybe there's something I don't want, I want to change. Maybe the kitchen, do I have right to touch it or to renovate anything there? Okay, so before you even buy, you know, okay. uh, um, some people are buying the, some people are buying the already just the way we have it. Let me just pay and forget about it. So, but not everybody is buying like that. So if there's anything, maybe during the building process or something, if there's any particular thing you have in mind that there's a way you want yours to be, you can just let us know. So there will be no need wasting money on it and then you come to break it down again. So you can just let us know from the onset that maybe you have a particular thing you would like to do on your own. It's your house. It's your house. You know, so that shouldn't be a problem. That should not be a problem. Madam Olamipo, are you okay? Ama, are you good with the answer? Are you good with the answer? All right. Then we have Kessin Team. I don't know if Kessin Team is a man or a woman. Kessin Team? Good evening, no. Kessin Team can't be a woman, no. Kessin Team is a man. <laughs> you never can tell. Good um, evening. You are welcome. Good evening, all. Okay. okay. I'm still in the chat, but because I've I've been on I've, I've been driving. I'm oh. just trying to talk. Sorry. I said, okay. I said, is this investment portfolio negotiable? That's the first question I asked. And I said for the 40 million for what apartment size? Because two I did. apartments. So the two has a living room, it has a guest toilet, it has a dining area, it has a kitchen, it has two bedrooms and suite. I showed it maybe because we're driving. So we are going to send it. Please, after the meeting, just say I'm guessing it in the WhatsApp. So we'll send the video to you again. So it has the living room, which has a guest toilet. So that means the apartment is two bedrooms, but three toilets. It has the dining area, it has two bedrooms and suites, it has the kitchen, it has a backyard, it has a balcony in front. Yeah. Okay, then I, I also asked, I said, uh, how much is the daily rental? Because you talked about 52 weeks in a year, and you talked about an average of 30, 30 weekends in 52 weeks. As in, you are just trying to play safe, and that I understand because it's best. Let investors know the minimum they can earn. That does not mean that's what they will earn. They can earn more than that, but at least let's start. And you can earn less. <laughs> you can earn more and you can earn less. So what we're even trying to do about that is we're working on um, a device, like a monitor that you can plant on your house so that when any guest comes to take the house, it won't just be what actually like is feeding you. Yes, we are people of integrity, but we don't really like to be trusted like that. Let's let's do business. Don't say I trust them, you know. So we're trying to work on. We have a company we're trying to work with now that can help us install um, this monitoring device, you know, at the entrance of the house or something that you will know that a guest is in the house, and then of course you receive the money is also deposited. And the money I'm also into IT. Is it like a monitor or because like where I live currently, I have a surveillance camera. I, anywhere I'm in the world, I can actually check activities of what's going on in my house. No, so, it's, so beyond, it's beyond that, surveillance. No, you know, get with the motion sensor, we tell you daily activity. Motion sensor means when someone passes through. Or I, know what you're yes, I know. Yes. 
Oh, but this one is beyond that. This one is beyond. That. If you say we should work with surveillance cameras, it, we could bring 20 people to see their house in a day just to see. They came, they want to see how it looks like, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't mean they've taken the house, you understand? So the ones we're going to install are the ones that will let you know when somebody checked in. So checking in is what we're doing. And for how long the person is staying, so to commensurate the, the amount of money that is being paid into your account. Okay, so I said, how much is the daily renter? One and I didn't hear that. One fifty thousand per night. Okay, and and uh, and and I said, and guaranteed renter returns per month. No, now you discuss per year, which is fair. But we cannot. We cannot is? guaranteed rental. We can't. We will not promise what we don't know. <laughs> it's a new city. Investor. Yeah. As an investor, I also want to partner as in marketing, because what mm -hmm. I do, what was the market, both local and international, the point I'm making is, I can tell a, a group or a company to host like a business resort, five days in the resort. If I'm doing it and all my fellow landlords are getting rental, you know this time I'm bringing traction. You won't just pay me what you pay me as a, as a homeowner, because if I'm bringing that business- so, so that so that's a different because I'm so not, Yeah, so that's not a generalized arrangement for everybody. Not everybody here can do what you're saying, definitely. So that would be a, a a private arrangement we can have with you on that. But we cannot just guarantee you to say then it becomes an event. It, 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 that means you're you are not really owning the house. That means you are just investing and you're expecting returns. No, that's not what we're doing here. You're buying a house. When, when they that? To can, I own, can I own this? Because I, I, I'm be interested in my returns in such a way that I want to be paid my returns because I've analyzed, okay, fine, the next five years, this money I've sunk into this trans into this business, I want it back. I want it back 100% before I start thinking of other things to, 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 to do the investment. I can choose to sell it out in, in, in another 15 years to come. For example, let's hope the business thrives and we keep on growing. You know, I think 2024 does not mean someone is not already in 2035. That's that thing has asked. You project and hope all things being equal. So the point is that I have a house. You've told me what is obtainable. And I say, fine, can I do more? Can I optimize my assets? It's like owning a hotel. You do market and you ensure that you always have a full house. Because if, because if you always have a full house, no matter how much your expenditure is, your full house means all rooms are taken. It has a way of ensuring that uh, whatever expenses that you are making, it neutralizes your balance. Even when, when you're not paying more for diesel, before your rooms are taken, you are at an advantage or you are at advantage points. So that's what I'm trying to like ask. Because what I'm also trying to the entire house is everybody here can as well, though we can't all do what is being discussed, but it's possible. And instead of doing that party in one caravan somewhere in Ibadan, we can bring it to Ogun and yeah. pick some. You understand me? You never can tell. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, no so, so yeah. So because we're trying to make this thing as short as possible, we've done all the things we're talking about. We've said it many times in different meetings. So it's your house. You can also market it. You can drive, you know, you can drive traffic to it and all that. So no problem about that. But I will not sit here and tell you this is how much you will earn on this property every year. If you want that type of thing, you will not own a house. You are only going to invest a certain amount and get certain amounts every year. It's not, you don't own a property. Do you understand? So, and that's why we're going to have to say, there's going to be like a device that you will know. So that actually will not go and put people in the house for 365 days in a year and come and tell you, you only put people there in 50 days. No, no, no. So there will be something you know that, yeah. Transparency and and you said the payment is within zero to six months for the entire forty million. Yes. 
<laughs> not also a pinnacle. There's a part. <clears throat> there's a part of the agreement you're going to sign that says if things get out of hand in Nigeria and inflation, with the rate of inflation, if tomorrow, for example, cement becomes twenty five thousand, that house can never remain fourteen million naira. So and that's why we're even trying to be careful to ensure that the payment um ten tenure is not too long, at least be feasible. So whatever happens, we can. Six, six months is short term. Mo. No yeah. average two years. and afford for in six months. To be you very say? honest. You said no, no average Nigerian businessman can do that 40 million naira in six months and not shake. But we have to pay. <laughs> I said that. I said average. That's what I said. Average will not buy this house. <laughs> 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 I'm talking to multi millionaires, maybe billionaires here this evening. <laughs> You're not an average man, I know. <laughs> God bless you, Mr. Kessington. Nice speaking with you. <laughs> we have Larry Dubai. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Thanks for the presentation. Um, I have just a quick one. Um, let's assume the payment is made twice and in the in the course of payment being made and there is inflation, you've complement you've completed the payment. So where how how is that one taken care of? You've completed the payment, then the headache is on extra large. <laughs> ah, it's on extra large. Okay. And okay, Since thanks. And, and the other question I wanted to ask is um Mr. Kessington has just uh, asked did, I wanted to confirm the duration again. And um mm -hmm. Uh, the other one is uh, what type of power is being used there? Currently, is it uh, NEPA or because I was just thinking if you keep having a lot of buildings like that, what, what are you looking at? Thank you very much. I love that question. I really love it. Thank you. I think it's because you're living in Dubai. Do you live in Dubai? <laughs> so, um, power, power, power. Hmm. Niger for power, wala. So currently, <clears throat> there's power supply in that area, but there is no light. So the power is different from light now in Niger, according to Niger definition. So right now, sad enough, let me use that word, we are running on diesel 24-7, but we're already making a lot of plans. We've gone far, you know, to solarize the whole uh, city. And uh, we're working with, we're trying to seal a deal with um, some partners from Europe to also have a wind, a wind, um, wind slope slash um, solar, you know, energy plants that it will be big enough to even sell, you know, to be able to even sell lights to neighboring whoever, wherever you are is interesting. So, but for now we're running on diesel. <clears throat> so we, we believe God that um, gradually, we all know that solar is very, very expensive, but it's a must do for this uh, project. I think you still have something to say. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Thanks for the, uh, for answering that. But will it come with an extra cost? If you're considering okay. the other source of uh, power now, will it come with an extra cost for if you are buying into the properties. Okay, so at the moment, <clears throat> excuse me, at the moment, what we're doing is to, you know, for every um, guest that comes to lodge in your house, extra light is going to be charging you a certain percentage. We've not really been able to wrap it up very well, but we're looking at 30 to 35% for every payment by your lodgers. So it takes care of power, it takes care of security oh, fees, okay. it takes care of maintenance and all that. So for now, extra large is going to be responsible for how the house is being powered. But in the case that we have someone who is buoyant enough to buy the house and just run their own energy into it, then so be it. Or if we have people who are looking at not just um, having the house as a holiday home, that they really want to come and live there 24 seven, then they may have to be off the arrangement that we have, except they don't mind. 
So, but for now, what we have, at least for the number of what we have on ground, the kind of power generation that we have is enough to, to cater for. And as we are progressing, we're getting more of that. You know, installing more solution energy wise. All right. All right. Uh, thanks, Robert. And the last question is Do we currently have some of these apartments yeah. being uh, used by uh, people? Do we have okay. currently? Yeah, thank you. So, um, like I said, this research was opened on the first, um, on the 12th of June, 2023. So, and when it was opened, the major attention was not on the homes. As a matter of fact, we just started campaigning for the homes um, towards the end of last year. I think, yeah, towards the end of last year was when we just started. And, you know, so, so we, are, we just finished building the ones that are ready <clears throat> right now. Um, and thankfully, I think the first guest will be staying in one of the houses next weekend. The oh, first okay. So, but to the glory of God, you know, we, like I said, a lot of people are coming in all the time. And you can see the massive campaign we're running for people to join the holiday clubs and all that. Let me give you an instance. If we have... <clears throat> If we have just 50,000 people registered on the holiday club, just, I, I choose to say just, or let me just make it a, 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 a little bit bigger. If we have 100,000 people registered on the holiday club, then that means there's automatic business for all the homeowners there. Because imagine 100,000 people, and we only have 52 weekends, and most people will be coming on weekends. Divide 50,000, by only 52 weeks. Do you, can you see what we have? So it tells you that there's going to be a massive need for all yeah, the the yeah. apartments. So already it's going to be, there, there's already a shortage of apartments if all of them decide to be coming every weekend. And from, from experience, we also discovered that somebody is registered as an holiday club member. He has three days holiday. Most of them, when they come, they want to come back again. They, they just they mm -hmm. want to go to three days. Some of them, when they come, oh, can we extend to five days? You know, and some of them, when they're there, they're calling other family members to come and join them over there, you know. So like that's why I said, for people who can see far, you know, this type of businesses, it may look like, oh, you're not going to get all the money immediately, but for people who really can see it, and for people who have been doing business with Excel that knows what we stand for, focus. They know focus is our major thing at Excel. So when we focus on something, God helps us to achieve it. So imagine when we have the full 100,000 members, when we have 1 million members, for example, holiday people and people are coming from all walks of life you can imagine so there's already like a market for those homes to be enjoyed by mm -hmm. the homeowners you know so fair enough fair enough and lastly the internet how is it network like in that area yeah okay so um presently there is a um, um, MTN is very good. MTN in Nigeria is very good, and um, you you will never be out of uh, out of um, how do I put coverage. It? Data coverage. is life. <laughs> Data ah, is life. Okay. It's MTN, and we also provide because not everybody is running on MTN. So when we come, then there is this other one we just um, concluded. Oh, how did I forget the one owned by Elon Musk? Sky. How did I forget the name? Um, there's this satellite sure. one. Ah, okay. Um, what's it called? It's not uh, uh, I'm sure you read about it. SpaceX or something. <laughs> I can't remember now. Yeah. Okay, I, but the, I just want to be sure there is internet connection there. There's internet. There's internet. Oh, there's all right. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate there's it. internet. And if you're even lodging in the in the guest outside of it, you know, there's internet, free, you have basically everything and then in the in the in the major guest apartments apart from the homes we also have like um like an office space so we have um like an office where you can actually resume you know so it, it gives you a feeling of well, yes we're on holiday you don't want to be in your room working you actually want to go somewhere that looks like an office and it's an office 
you can actually take it up and do your stuff, you know, transact mm. business, do everything. Yeah. We have that as well. So because right, we know you many executives <clears throat> don't just go on holiday and shut everything out. You have to still keep up That's with fun. business wherever you are. Yeah. Okay, thank you very okay, much. So, so before I go on, thank you so much, Mr. Larry. God bless you, sir. Okay, Basira is raising her hand. I'm going to allow you in a few minutes, but I want to see how many people are here so far and you really are interested, you love what you're hearing and you're interested. Can I just see, let me even unmute, just say something. Let me, let me just, um, let me know. You love what you're hearing and you, you think you would like to own a home in this city. Just say let me hear you just say hey. Just say yes, I'm interested. Oh, yes, I'm yes, interested. I am interested. Yes. I yes, I'm more. interested. There's more. Yeah, I'm interested. Yes, I'm interested. I'm interested. I'm interested too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So please to everyone who is saying I'm interested, you want us to take it further from you. Right, you will send um, a message to that WhatsApp. So you say, I'm still interested because you said I'm interested before. Until I'm you invited still interested. You say, I'm still interested. Send it to that WhatsApp number, and I will personally, you know, be up with you so that we can talk. So, um, to start, you're going to pay 100,000 naira application fees. And I, I want to believe that everybody who is interested here tonight can just do that, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning. So we know that, yes, you are really up for business. So we can the portal and then we just do the needful. So 100,000 naira is the application fee for the house. That fee is non-refundable. So if you change your mind that you're not buying again, you dash me money with that thing. <laughs> this Zoom meeting, it costs me about 139000 to host this meeting every month. I'm going to pay somehow. Some 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 yeah. staff working back door everywhere, hardware and everything. So that 100000 naira is just to help us cover for all this little, little cost. So it's not refundable. However, if you now wish to take it further after the application fee, or you could just pay together with whatever um initial debt you are making but let me shock you for all of you who are interested in owning this property and you are in nigeria as we speak and you're going to send me i'm still interested hmm, tonight or latest by tomorrow morning i want to give 10 people the opportunity to come and enjoy a two-day stay at this resort on my cost this weekend on my bill. So you're coming, you're coming to the city this weekend. Thank God we're even having a women's celebration on Saturday. So you're arriving on Saturday, you're leaving on Sunday, or you're arriving on Friday and you're leaving on Saturday. And um, I'll take care of your accommodation, take care of your feeding, take care of your tours, and everything can I hear an amen? Ten people are going to enjoy that. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. That's so generous of you, ma'am. So let, let me even see the ten people now. Maybe I should just um let me just see the ten people now. You are in Lagos, you are coming for this event. Um, sorry, you're in Lagos and you're available this weekend to come see for yourself what we're talking about and to enjoy the hospitality of a farmer. Cut C, the MDRC of Extra Large, Dr. and Dr. Mrs. Shea, yeah, in Bola Davis. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to host you this weekend and, you know, pamper you a little bit and show you the greener side of life on the farmer's uh, face. So 10 people, I want 10 people to enjoy that. Where are the 10 people now? Where are the 10 people? Let me hear your name. And those 10 people you already, I'm still interested is number one thing you're going to do. Number, th number two, you have to pay your application fees between now and tomorrow morning. So I know that yes, you are really, really, really interested. Where are the 10 people? Say your name, say your name, say your name. Let me just start jotting it down. Where are the 10 people? Where are the 10 people? 
Fama Basura's hands is raised. You have a question, I, I guess. Okay, thank you. I can see some messages already coming. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Oh, I have to stop this recording now, so it will be too long. Madam Basura, please unmute yourself and ask a question. I'm still um, in good studio. evening. Thank you. I, I can see. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can see your messages coming in now. I'm still interested. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to give 10 people that holiday. Yes. 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 Okay. Please say your name. Okay. I'm seeing, I'm still interested, but I can't see any name. Please say your name, say your name, and you win my my treat for the weekend. Madam Basira. Okay, please. so, yes, you were talking. Okay, so um, I went off for a bit, so I don't know, maybe you covered it. Um, so let's say for the sake of the argument, the 40 million is paid by the end of March. Is the property ready or is an off plan thing? Okay, is so it, we and their flats, um, uh, uh, because you're saying two bedrooms, so they're flats, they're not uh, duplexes. Okay, you, or... you, would you like me to show it again? I saw it, I saw it. I'm just asking, yeah. just bungalow. for clarification. Yes. Sorry? They are, they are bungalows or what you call cottage in Europe. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Then uh, not... what about, they're not ready. They're not ready. They are ready. If you have 40 million today, you want to give me your, you want to have your house tomorrow morning. There are houses that are ready now that you can buy. Okay. Yes. But normally it doesn't work like that, to be honest. You know, so these ones are the ones we've been invested into by ourselves. Okay. So normally mm -hmm. it should take about max four or five months, four or five months after, after payment, payment to take your house. But because oh, wow. we have ready now you can actually just buy and then so after your purchase for example if you pay tonight and you want to have the house tomorrow you can actually come tomorrow and we show you this is your house and you are the owner of that house so then we might need to just do a little tidying up maybe okay okay so um the furnishing as well is this some you had said that that will cost about 14 million or something yes yes Yes. Subject okay. to inflation. <laughs> okay. Subject and also, you had also said that um, when you manage the property, what percentage do you get? What percentage does extra large get on the, on, um, on the payments? Budget. Yes. Yes. So we are, to be honest, we've not really yet rounded up on that. And our major challenge is just that um, energy, light. Okay. But so, well now we're looking about 30, 35%. So if somebody pays 150, for example, on your house, so we are, we are taking about 35% of 150. So you should have like 105 or something. Let me, let me be sure. 35% of 150. So that takes care of uh, diesel and um, staff costs. People are maintaining the house on your behalf and all that. Um, so it's going to be like an Airbnb when you rent it out. Cleaners yes. will go in to clean. Yes. Uh, people are allowed to cook. Yes. Or we have to buy your food. No, no, no. People are like, that's why you have the kitchen. Madame, so is there a market around? I saw it. I, I'm just mm -hmm. asking. Is there a market around there? Because I think it's far off from town. Not so far off. So there, is, there are two, three major markets. There is also a standard shopping center about 20, 25 minutes from the place. Plus, you could actually um, make your order for, you You could just give us a list of groceries you want to buy and, you know, one of the staff will just go get it for you. Plus, don't forget a shopping mall is also coming there. That is not there now. It doesn't mean it will be there in the next one year. 
Okay. And the next one, because I mean, if it's you're renting the place out, you need to be able to tell the person, oh, you can get your food, you yes. know, but yeah. Okay. So for now, they can get their food. We can, you know, we are very hospitable people. That's why I want at least 10 people to come this weekend. Let's, let's be together. Yeah, but the notice is quite short to really come short, for the right? weekend, I think. Yeah. I guess that's why most people are not, you know, probably have no. things planned. No, no I'm I, interested. It's different okay. from I'm available for the weekend. Abby. Yeah. Okay. I'm still interested. Yeah, it's different from I'm available for the weekend. Okay. All right. So, thank you so much, ma. Thank you very much, madam. Madam Basira's book, right? Yes. Thank okay. you. So I'm still expecting more responses. I'm still interested. Send it to that WhatsApp number that invited you to this meeting tonight. So we could take it up from there. Thank you very much. I have two more hands raised and then we will call it a day. I have Biola. Biola, please, you can unmute yourself. Biola, please, unmute yourself. Biola, can you please unmute yourself? Good evening, MD. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry, I'm still on my way home so from work. Oh, uh, so sorry. Biola about... from London. So. Oh, oh, so sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just calling because okay. uh, I showed interest in that of, uh, uh, is it the Canaan land something? Which is okay. said put, uh, a stop to that. Okay. So, because I just that, came in. That's what you still want. It's open now. It's open now. Well, how much is that? Because you know the, <laughs> the uh, amount it was when we put in interest. Okay. So um, I'll need to recheck because things have actually changed. We we'll need to recheck and um, somebody will get back to you or I will personally get back to you. Okay. Every weekend, yes. Okay, then. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, the last but not the least person tonight, these are therapists. These are therapists, you have the floor. Good evening, Ma, the MD. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you for coming. I'm interested in the professional traits, the life coach or the therapist. We don't know, maybe you are interested in um as a collaboration or something like that. I don't understand. <clears throat> I said I'm interested in your professional traits. Okay. We, as a therapist or a life coach, I don't know, maybe you require that offer. You have um, someone that can offer you that service. Do you, are you interested? Okay, that's what you do. Yes. Okay, so please send us a proposal. You can send okay. me a proposal, md at extralargefirms.com. Okay, md at extralargefirm, okay. Should be okay on WhatsApp too? Yes, please. Okay, my way. Thank you, Madam.